Welcome collectors, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Gomeco Commander 3X slip form paver. This model was produced by Diecast Masters for the Gomeco Corporation. It is in 132 scale. As you can see at the bottom left of your screen, the item number for reference is 900100. If you are interested in acquiring this model, you can take a look down at the bottom of your screen right now. There will be a link in the description where you can click on and it will take you straight to Gomeco's website where you can purchase this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then we will do the model review. As you can see, there is a picture of the real slip form paver. The box is very nice with the Gomeco logo. Once again, as I mentioned, it is in 132 scale, so this is a very large model. Gomeco is the worldwide leader in concrete paving technology, and you can see it's printed there on the box. Here's another picture of the real paver on the other side. Let's go ahead and unbox it and take a closer look at it. As is the case with all the models we see on this channel, these are adult collectible scale models intended for collectors obviously over the age, minimum age of 14. And first thing that you will notice once we get it out of its sleeve here is just like the Evolution Series models that we have seen in the past, it comes in this flip open style presentation box, which I absolutely love. There's another picture of the slip form paper at work with a concrete mixer pouring some concrete into it onto the conveyor belt. On the back, once again, you have Gomeco's information with their worldwide headquarters at 121 East State Highway 175, P.O. Box 151 in uh, Isle Grove, Iowa, USA, 51445. Their telephone number, their email address, and once again, their website. All right, let's get to the model. Once again, you pop open the top. You want to be a little bit careful here because here is the model housed between two plastic formers. Once again, we will take that out very carefully. And also, you have a base right here that you can display the model on if you elect to, which is very nice. You can see it has an engraving on it, Gomeco Extreme Commander 3X. There is a great picture of the concrete paver doing some curb work as well for a background image. This is top class packaging. Okay, let's get this out of the frame. Here's the model. As I mentioned before, this is a large model at 1 to 32 scale. Careful what we grab here. And here it is. All right, so we're going to take just a quick break. Allow me to get all this stuff off the table. When we come back, we'll start the model review, so make sure you don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. So real quick, Gomeco Corporation, of course, it's an acronym for Godberson Manufacturing Company. They began selling bridge building and concrete paving equipment in 1965. Uh, their equipment is used all over the world. Most recently, one of the biggest projects they undertook was they used a lot of their concrete paving equipment to repave the Bristol Motor Speedway in 2006, 2007. All right, taking a look at the model up front, first impressions, it's very big, very detailed, a lot of die cast built into this. Even the railings here are die cast metal, which you don't often see. A lot of times these are plastic on some of the smaller models. Check out the operator's council detail right there. That is unbelievable. You can almost probably learn how to operate the real machine just by taking a look at the intricate detail on the control panel there. Okay, let's bring the whole thing into view once again. So this is a three-track machine, and the real machine, if I did my research correctly, I believe this can pave a 24-inch radius, uh, that's 610 millimeters, and these legs, these three legs, are actually smart legs. They have GPS and all kinds of fun stuff integrated into it. So after Gomeco was finished educating its legs on this machine, you can, you can do some crab steering and paint pave some very, very nice, tight radius curbs and gutters, all kinds of different applications for this piece of machinery. As you can see, the legs can be extended down, all three of them. I mentioned before, you can move the track frames around for crab steering. That's one of the many working features on this model. So this is outfitted with a curb and gutter mold and trimmer. This also folds out right here to give an accurate depiction of the machine at work. It not only folds out, but as you can see here, you gotta be a little bit careful with it, but it also folds down. So let's get the machine 
at reasonably the same height at all three sides. There we go. All right, so now it's ready to start paving some curbs or gutters. So what we would do now is bring in a suitable concrete truck. So let's bring in a similar scale concrete truck here. Back this up just a tiny little bit. And as you can see, we would put our chute extension back on. And once that's going, you can see the front of this machine has a conveyor belt. So this is where the concrete would be taken from the ready mix truck onto this conveyor, up the conveyor, and out of this little discharge chute, and then into the mold. So we'll accurately model that here. And you can move slightly this whole conveyor thing. And once again, very quickly with the help of just two models, you can now accurately mold the concrete paving process. I have to say, once again, after I got this model in my possession, this is one of the most impressive 132 scale models I've seen in my career as a collector. And it's chock full of details and functionality. Every time I take a look at this, I discover something else that works on it, such as the crab steering, such as the fact that this moves in and out, the height adjustability with the machine, the auger underneath right here that would spread the material. You can also move that by hand. The tracks as well are linked. You can move that slightly, but again, I would caution you for messing around with that too much. You want to be a little bit careful, obviously. And then again, on this side, you have the ladder. Obviously, the operator would access to get to the controls. The graphics and pad printing on here are absolutely incredible. And up to the highest class here, you can read Gomeko Commander 3X and Extreme. Once again, you have Gomeko on all the different legs. On the back here, Gomeko as well, and even the red and white striping on all of the different track frames. And there you go, we're back on the side that we started with. So as I mentioned, the legs, you can move those side to side, such as this one. I already showed you that they're height adjustable as well. This feature goes in and out, as well as can be moved. And then this front leg can be swung in or out, and then can be positioned again for crab steering or potentially any position that you want to set it. So there you go, collectors. That is my review once again of the Diecast Masters Gomeko Commander 3X slip form paver. I have to say this will make a wonderful addition to any serious collector's construction vehicle collection. It's a heavy piece of die cast and it is priced accordingly. Uh, right now, you can get this from the Gomeko online store for $165 plus tax and shipping. Again, there will be a link right down here in the video's description, and it'll take it right there. I do believe that it is worth it. You see that it comes in a very professional style presentation box. You can even put it on the display plank that it comes with that's also reflective. Again, it looks very, very professional. I'm a huge fan of this. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.